gentlemen that has colored me bad and they're seeing the earth the sun and the moon and when i first heard this song i said now these mother can sing okay now and i didn't say they could sing i said they could sing okay because color me bad they were all right but they weren't the greatest but ladies and gentlemen i just want to let you know I'm a music connoisseur. Now, I may not listen to the music you listen to. And you know what the unique thing about it is? I don't have to. See, that's the unique thing about music. It comes in all kinds of variety, shapes, sizes, and <laughs> colors. I see music in colors. Anyway, and because it does, that means you have variety. That is the unique thing about the God that I serve. He created variety. See, my God is not evolution. See, evolution has no variety. Evolution says everything came from the same goal, okay? Which means everything is equal. There's no variety in evolution. There's no changes in designs. All right, shut up, those of you who believe in that junk. There is nothing to explain how there are trillions, quadzillions, to the infinite power of grains of sand that have been produced in the last several 17 billion years of our universe's history. 17 billion years. How do we know it's 17 billion? Because they took a telescope and they spotted the furthest star and they measured the light from that furthest star. Now it's approximate, why? Because they've also discovered that the further light is from a gravitational pull or a gravitational source, or a gravitational event, however you want to say it, the further is from that event, the slower the speed of light is. But the closer it is to that event, the faster the speed of light is. So the speed of light is not constant. The speed of light is not constant. For those who thought that it was, sorry, when they were sending out that stupid telescope to a little spacecraft they sent out there to photograph the galaxies, Hubble. <laughs> anyway, when they sent that junk out there, it left the Earth's solar system. And when it left the solar system, they didn't hear back from it for years. They like that much, then ran away. Now, that's it, I'm free. <laughs> I am free. The mother won't ever see me again. Well, that's not what it did. It took a lot longer for the signal to reach the earth. So it wasn't lost. It had not run away. It's just they realized, wait a minute, we were expecting to hear back from that by this time and we didn't. So what could have resulted in the delay? And then they realized what the issue was. Speed of light ain't constant. Gravitational pull. Ain't that interesting? So, that's the God I serve. He gives us variety. And thus, color me that. Variety. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I did a video this past weekend and I told you guys about the so-called Great Reset. And you know what? I did not know that that many people were gonna be interested in that subject. Ladies and gentlemen, again, as I showed you, this isn't the first time they've announced a Great Reset in the system. They've restarted the Ladies and gentlemen, come on, you've seen the Matrix. They're, they're doing a new Matrix now. Now, you know what? I'm supposed to watch it. <laughs> I, uh, they're doing a new Matrix now. And I, I think it's corny since they did Matrix, Re Matrix, Matrix Revolution. It's corny that they would actually even try to invent another Matrix 20 years after they did the original, 20 plus years. It's almost 20 years to the day that they did the Matrix Revolution, which they finished at the same time they did 
Matrix Reloaded. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the same. So what? Neil. Look, Neil was a um, Keanu Reeves, good actor. He, he was mediocre in The Matrix. Be, I, 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 I'll be honest, his acting was so dry in The Matrix that it was pathetic. Go back and watch the original. Now, he got much better by the third one. And now that he's doing all of this uh, John Rick, whatever that, it, that stuff is, it's too violent. I can't watch that junk. I couldn't watch that junk even if I had on sunglasses and there was a big, huge light shining on the screen where I couldn't even see the characters. It's way too much violence in John Rick. Wick, whatever that junk is. So, no, I don't watch it. My God says he hates lovers of violence, so I cannot condone violence. And I do not. Don't watch football. Football's too violent. Do not watch boxing anymore. Boxing is too violent. Sorry. I stay away from violence. I avoid it at all costs. Okay. However, I did that video, and I documented to all of you that they have restarted system after system after system. In the Matrix, they talked about how that was the sixth time they have restarted the system. Because it, the end result kept being the same. Well, ladies and gentlemen, come on now. Do you not see all the failed governments of man? No, no, no. Pay attention to the matrix, what it was talking about. Do you not see the system, the systemic, 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 systemic anomaly? Do you know what the systemic anomaly is? It isn't the, what I refer to as the 14 percenters. That's only part of it, ladies and gentlemen. The systemic anomaly is imperfection. Man cannot create a perfect system because man himself is flawed, imperfect to his core. And if he's imperfect, everything he creates is imperfect, so nothing will ever work. No form of government man could ever put together will ever work. And if you don't understand the logic in that, then you're like the person I spoke with this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's the cottonwood and the so-called ragweed. Don't worry about it. I'm not taking anything for it because it only happens when I talk. And look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't talk to myself, so I haven't really talked all day except for on the phone. And there was a young lady who came looking for a dog. And so I gave her my attention because she looked like she was really stressing because her dog is gone. Um, and so she got my attention. And hopefully she finds her dog because I know how it is to have a pet and you're older. Uh, because she's actually driving around calling out the dog's name. So I really did feel sorry for her. But as I told her, dogs come by here at night, but they don't they don't bark or anything. I can tell they come around here because my motion detectors go off all night long. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, those of you, I'm going to get to our video in a second, but those of you who are warning about the place, the solar... I'm about to go finish with the gate after I do this video while the video is uploading. That's what I'm going to be out there working on is the gate and closing everything. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning putting the gate up and everything is because I will start putting the solar panels out there. I already have the inverter connected. Now, look, I need a plug adapter for the RV. The RV already has a plug connector. Okay, 30 amp to 15 is what I need to connect that, to be able to connect that to an extension cord to the inverter, thus supply the energy for the fifth wheel. So I'm waiting to receive that next week. But for now, I will have the energy. And right now, I could plug into that battery over there and not have to ever worry about recharging it until next week because it's a 24 volt. So and it's full charge. So running this stupid computer on it and the uh, freezer is not going to be a big deal. See, once the freezer gets its temperature, like right now, let's see, it is 82 degrees. Normally, it's 89, 99, 90, 89, 93 degrees this time of day, but we've had overcast all day. And so it's been interesting. All right. So that's just me giving you guys an update of the system. Everything is connected. I just hooked up all of the camera wiring 
And I now understand what makes a wireless camera system wireless. There is no such thing as a wireless camera system. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why there's no such thing as a wireless camera system because they still connect to a wire, an ethernet cable. Okay, so now I have to get a um, ethernet port which has five connections to it. I ordered three of those because I have eight cameras and the eight cameras are on separate sides of this vehicle. Plus I also have to order the ethernet cables so that I can get from one side to the other. And so got enough to hook up all the cameras so that even if, pay attention, even if the electricity should go out, still have my connection. That's what I'm looking for. Why? Because I'm setting solar panels on the ground I want to be able to videotape the idiots. And this system has infrared, so it sees at night. That's why I'm lit. Man, this place is so lit up at night that I'm getting ready to add some brighter lights, solar lights, that will keep focus on those solar panels and the other things around this uh, property. And here's the unique thing. Because the solar panels are directly connected to the home, they're covered by the insurance. Yay! Okay. So everything is just about done. I could have had this done months ago, ladies and gentlemen, but I was a little timid, a little intimidated by the voltage and all of that when it turns out that I had all of the right components to take care of the voltage. I'm getting a bus bar. That will be here shortly so that it can offset that voltage that will be coming in through the system. Technically, the units are already supposed to have a bus bar, and I do believe that the battery that I do have does have a bus bar, but I want, because I'm dealing with so much voltage and wattage, we have uh, about 3,000 kilowatts coming into this place, 2,400 for certain. And so because I'll be having so much kilowatts, coming in here, I'm going to have to uh, be mindful and careful. Do you understand what I'm saying, Vern? Because I understand what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I got something I want to show you. I know it's taken me a little bit to get to this point, but I guarantee you, you have my full assurance and confidence that I didn't know that this was going on now. But I told you that they were creating the shortages. Now, did they not already promise you that there's going to be a shortage of supplies this winter? Let me show you why. You guys, you guys don't mind if I show you why there's going to be a shortage? The government has a plan to clear the ports. We are doomed. <laughs> What's going on with shipping? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This was a year ago. Oil tankers lined up miles off the coast. But right now, they are claiming that the ports are backed up. Uh-uh, they can't claim that. Remember we were told how those individuals were essential workers? So why are they backed up now? Ships lining the California coast. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, this was eight months ago. So why is it still going on? It's chaos out there. Shipping crisis aggravate as 44 container ships stock off the coast of California. Ladies and gentlemen, have you been waiting for something to arrive from overseas? At first they said, well, we have a shortage of containers. No, that's a lie, ladies and gentlemen. See, what happens is they don't want to ship the empty containers back across seas. They could, but we don't do a lot of shipping across seas. We bring in a lot of shipping, but we don't ship that junk back across seas. And we don't want to pay nobody to ship no empty containers. So there isn't a container shortage. There is a laziness issue. Okay? Uh, I'm looking for the vehicles, the ships. So no, no, no vessels offshore. All right. We're going to get back to this right here. Remember I told you that this is intentional? This... Uh, vessels and supply and demand and how they're controlling everything? Do you think that they could not clear those ports if they wanted to? Ladies and gentlemen, first, they have the personnel 
but they'll claim they do not. Why? Because there are individuals who run, manage, and oversee these entities who say, hey, you tell uh, John and them, uh, I want that done by 3 o'clock today. No, tell them 3 o'clock. It has to be done by 3 o'clock, not by 12. No, we, we, no we're going to give them until 3 o'clock to get it done. But, you know, we could have had it done at 9 o'clock this morning. No, again, you don't have to finish it until 3 o'clock, okay? So don't get it done until 3. Okay, sir. Hey, hey, if that's the way you want it, that's the way it has to be. And so they take longer doing what didn't take long before. Hey, um, hey, Jim. No, no, you let Robin and handle that. Jim, you and uh, Marcus and... Yeah, Raymond, y'all come here with me. No, no, I know that, that. Look, two people is enough to handle that job. Come on, y'all come with me. I know it's a five-man job, but you three come with me. This is what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. And now he takes those three and gives them a meaningless job, making it look like they're doing something. That's how they slow things down while still making it look like everybody's working. Now, hey, hey, hey. I don't work for them. They are part of unions. All you have to do is go check. If I'm wrong, please prove it to me, and I promise you I'll admit it on video. I, I guarantee you I will. But what I do know for a fact, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to click on this video. We're not going to watch it. Oh, by the way, that's Grandmaster Flash and the Fierce Five. And... and Technically, it ain't Grandmaster Flash, y'all. But we're going to say Grandmaster Flash and the Fierce Fly in the form of Houdini. Okay? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I... Uh-oh. Interstellar. I don't care about Interstellar. Why are they even showing that to me? I care about modern marvels. Don't care about that either. What's causing the container ship traffic jam cargo? This was three months ago, ladies and gentlemen. Why is this still going on? This is a week ago. Look, we are running out of container ships. And how blah, 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 we got here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're running out of container ships? No, we're not. There's less demand now than there was a year ago. Well, no, two years ago, sorry. There, there is more demand now than there was a year ago because of COVID. No, there's less demand. I'm sorry. COVID, everything was being shipped. Now people are going to the store. It's winter time. People, there is a money crunch right now. People ain't got that type of money in their pockets. Okay. So I did this video to show you all that I didn't know this was going on. So when I spoke about how they control I don't watch the news. This is September 17, 2021, that this video was done. Okay, September 17. I don't watch the news, people. Now, wait, I, I got to admit, I do watch Lester Holt from time to time. The government is here to help. <laughs> the government is here to help. Don't worry about nothing. Okay, now hold on. It's almost like if we actually made our stuff here, this wouldn't be an issue. No, it's almost as if they didn't give several companies, three, total control, then it'd be no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, they will not ship these ships into Houston or New Orleans or into St. Louis. That will not happen. Don't matter. I don't care how many tugboats you have. Okay, it will not happen. They will not take them through the Gulf of Mexico. That's why your major ports are on the East Coast and on the West Coast. And if you notice, winter time is coming, so you're not going to have a lot of ships docking in San Francisco or docking in New York. It will be Florida. It will be California. Why those two major ports? Why? Because that's the system. Do you guys not understand it? There are no major ports in Oregon. There are no major ports in Washington State. There are no major ports in Mexico.
well, New Mexico, sorry, or Arizona. There are no major ports in Georgia, no major ports in Virginia unless it's military, no major ports at Washington. Do you guys not get what's being said here? That all of your major ports are in three central locations, California, Florida, and New York. The same as they do with industry. They have three companies. Do they not call the auto industry the big three? Then when it comes to the foreign auto companies, what are the major three? Don't say Mercedes, because Mercedes is not a major auto distributor to the United States and the world. It is Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. Okay? I know Kia is crepping up, but Kia has a long way to go to get to those three. Okay? The major three foreign automakers, Toyota, Honda, Nissan. Just that simple. Because that's the way they, that's the way they do it. Then they have three major oil refineries in the U.S. And in every other country, probably one or two. It depends. You saw what happened to Venezuela. The oil refineries is controlled by the government. And all you needed was for the CIA to go in there and mess up everything. And now look at Venezuela and Spain because of what the CIA did. Oh, please, if you don't understand what the CIA did to Venezuela and Spain, where their economies were doing just fine until the United States started messing with their economy and their politics. Same thing. I, I, hey, Iceland was doing perfect. Man, they, Iceland was not even in a deficit. Iceland was sitting up there making a profit. And what did they do? They signed a contract with a bank. And now, man, you guys really need to see that this is an art. This is not just, um, hold on, let's, let's see what we're talking about here. On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, we have record ships at anchor off U.S. ports massive backlogs in terminals but have no worry the government's here to help uh oh hi i'm your host sal mccagliano chair of the department of history criminal justice and political science at campbell university former merchant mariner and an adjunct instructor of maritime industry policy at the u.s merchant marine academy whoa this man's got some experience y'all i don't know who he is never saw any of his videos before but, hey, he's talking about how the government's here to help. So let's find out how the government's here to help. Okay. I didn't think I was going to do a video this week because, not to lie, I've been out there a little bit too much this week. I did an interview yesterday with the guys at Freight Waves TV. It was great to do that. I had not done that before. So that was a, a real treat to do that. Uh, I have just done a video on the NTSB report on the Golden Ray, uh, followed it up with an article on G-Captain. And I'm sure that my face is up all over dark boards at the NTSB today. So why, why not continue that run? And let's talk about the government here and their actions. So a report came out, and I read it on Twitter from a very reputable source, and I've heard it from multiple sources, is that the government is preparing to basically intervene into the issue here, particularly the anchorage and the number of ships off the port of LA and Long Beach. Now, as we all know, this has been growing immensely. This is marine traffic showing you that anchorage off the port of LA and Long Beach. And if you zoom out here a little bit more, you'll see ships just milling about here, just sailing around because they don't want to come into the anchorage. And if you go out even further, you just see ships coming in here one after another after another just coming in the long line and if you go out and look at the long line across the pacific you start to see those vessels coming in here and now look ladies and gentlemen i used to work at the port at long beach it's a long history anyway i used to work at the port and i got to see the traffic i got to see I controlled the vehicles coming in and out of the security gate. That was my job. 
And I got to see that traffic, and I got to see how they worked. I got to see how the ships came in. Let me tell you what's going on here. See, they have worked it out to be a science. Now, if you if you don't know how much of a science it is, go back and watch The Wire, season four, season five, because that's all it's talking about is the ports and how they operate and how they're unionized. Ladies and gentlemen, the Long Beach port, that thing is so organized, it's pathetic. Do you know that they have an actual train track that goes through the port? Because they also load it on trains. It just ain't tractor trailers, everyone. And here's the point. Nothing's moving like it used to be. You thought when COVID hit, things slowed up. Well, there this slow up is intentional. Why? Because some idiot promised all of you a dark winter. I didn't do this. Look, this gentleman right here, don't know his name, forgot his name. Um, this gentleman right here, guess what he showed y'all? Come on now, not right there. No, we won't. Let's do not there. Not there. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. These are all ships. All ships. Not all of these are container ships, ladies and gentlemen. This you is how many people are at sea. Vessels coming in here. Okay. But a lot of these are container ships. Well, because look, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of people in America, but ain't that many. Okay, but a lot of these are container ships. A lot of these are regular little sailboats because it's that time of year. However, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these ships and supply and demand, and anybody who knows anything about basic economics, you know that supply and demand is pivotal. And if they don't get it right, they will get it wrong. Well, they're purposely getting it wrong and they don't care. All right, that's what I wanted to talk about. Like I said, how did I know? I, I just understood that what is going on is intentional. Okay, uh, I said tankers. You know what I should have did? I should have did. I should have did containers. I should not have done tankers, but I did tankers. Why? LA has a cargo ship. Grip lock. Look at this. Five months ago. Three days ago. Panic at sea. 500,000 containers stuck at U.S. ports as supply chain crisis goes from bad to worse. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, they're not doing anything about it. That was three days ago. I did not know this was going on, ladies and gentlemen. You have my word I did not know this was going on when I told you that government is doing this on purpose. Okay? But I do advise you all, and look at that, even Inside Edition did a version on it. I advise you all to go and do the research and see what's going on and start stocking up now. Okay? Because a lot of this is food. <laughs> and guess what happens to the food that sits out there in the sun? Baking and baking and baking and baking and baking. It turns evergreen. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I was calling you all about on this video is to talk about that. That was five months ago. We're going to do this one right here. Got my girl, Roberta Flack, in the background, y'all. And she's talking about being killed softly. Y'all know, that's what they did to Roberta, y'all. Oh, come on. Get rid of the dramatics and just get to the video. supply chains are in a state of absolute chaos. Every time things seem to be getting back on track, a new disruption emerges and pushes the entire... Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why for the music is because this is one of those sites that wants to talk about the times that we're living in. They, I guess, I can't tell you what he's talking about. I can only tell you I understand. This is too one-sided of a 
conversation, so I don't listen to that. You, you saw how I did, and YouTube hated it. <laughs> YouTube hated the fact that I talked about how the news media were definitely being one-sided in a particular story, okay? And that's what I listen for. I listen to see if Have the story is Have you finished your Christmas objective. shopping yet? It's not even October, but some retailers are warning if Oh, I'm sorry. Let you me tell you guys. Your... Hold on. Shut up, woman. You hear me talking. Let me tell you something about what she's doing and what they do. Okay. Do you see this necklace she has around her neck? Do you see right where it's hanging? That's intentional. Do you see how one is shorter than the other? That's intentional because that's where they want your focus. Okay. It's just this is what they do. She's wearing a turtleneck in a studio. Lord have mercy. Okay, ain't no reason for no turtleneck. They got air conditioning and heating in that facility, and we ain't that cold right now. This was three days ago. Okay, this is all done for that reason. Okay, oh, by the way, she's wearing black because she's got to come across as if she's cold, not as if she's compassionate. Not as if she's sensitive to your needs. Your gifts now, you might not be able to get them. Between part shortages and massive shipping delays, Gridlock is preventing all kinds of goods from getting to store shelves. It's a traffic jam of epic proportions at sea. Dozens of cargo ships are lined up, waiting their turn for unloading. Check out this satellite image taken this week off the port of Los Angeles. Count the ships. There are 58 in total. I chartered a fishing boat and headed out to sea to get a close-up look at the gridlock. We also took a drone along to get a bird's eye view. This shipping problem has to be seen to be believed. Dozens of massive cargo ships. It has to be seen to believe. Dozens of massive cargo ships. Do you see how over-exaggerated he is? Ladies and gentlemen, and do you see the angle they're showing the ship? They're doing it from the back on purpose there because you can't see all of these tankers from the front. Or from the side, so they're giving you this view. Look, imagery is, says everything. Okay, let's continue. Carrying tens of thousands of shipping containers stretching out for miles off the coast of Southern California. They're parked here for days, even weeks, before they can dock and unload their cargo. And it's not just a West Coast problem. Across the country in New York Harbor, they're all backed up too. This is historic, it's epic. It's in normal times. Uh, there are zero, maybe at best one or two vessels at anchor. Americans are buying at a high level appliances, furniture. Ladies and gentlemen, now he's blaming it on you all. Do you see that? No, no, it's not government's fault. It's not the ports fault that are run by, well, technically they're not, the ports are not run by the government. You guys must understand that. The ports are not run, quote unquote, by the government. They're run by private corporations that the government allows to run the ports. The port authorities are not government. I know, I know, I don't know. They have their own police and everything, but they're not government. They are private corporations. However, they allow them to run the ports, but the government controls these corporations. Now, he's saying it's your fault because you are going out there and just buying and buying and buying. When was the last time you bought a new refrigerator? When was the last, well, you just bought a freezer. Yeah, I bought a freezer because I didn't have a choice. I didn't buy a freezer because I had some extra cash lying around. Okay, he's saying that people are doing this because they got the extra money to go out there and just spend on junk. He's saying it's your fault. Hold on, let, let him finish. We're getting ready for the holiday sales here. Each ship is carrying between 12 and 20,000 containers. And once they dock, it takes up to three days to offload the cargo. There's simply not enough manpower or truck drivers to get it done faster. And pretty soon, we're all going to feel the impact of this pileup at sea. You're going to do your Christmas shopping. I wouldn't wait to the last minute this year. Now, why do they want you to do your Christmas shopping now? Anybody know? Because they need to pull that money out of your pocket before December. Watch how bad things are going to get in December. Now go back, go back and listen all the way back last year. Told you by the end of this year, they were going to do some stupid stuff like this. Told you October was the day. October. 
Why October? Why? Because you know that they have this thing called an October surprise. It's not called an October surprise for nothing. Watch this. Oh, there it is right there. We already got October. I already put that in there. Let's do SP. Surprise storm, Buffalo 2026. See? October surprise. Always an October surprise. Why not a December surprise? Or, 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 or September or more? Uh, um, October surprise 2021. Look at Mr. Trump. He's trying to tell y'all. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the site that I go to. Okay? Be prepared for an October surprise. However, I'm going to let you guys know the same thing. I'm saying the exact same thing. Be ready for an October surprise. Look. This this gentleman right here, not me, him, anyway, this gentleman right here is six hours ago. This young lady is five days ago. And October surprise, that's nine hours ago, 13 hours ago. Well, one month ago, but who cares about that? Okay. Uh, Amanda Grace, I, I don't know. She's talking about a prophetic, I should be pathetic world. Um... All right, I just wanted to let you guys know that October surprise was a common saying. But it's a common saying for a reason, because something always happens in October that's associated with government. Don't believe me? Go back and take a look at history. All right, hey, got to go, y'all. I just wanted to tell y'all that. Like I said, I got to go out here and fix this gate because it's been a long day. So I'm going to go take care of this. Let you guys go take care of yourselves. Hey, stay out of trouble. Keep your head up. And you know what I'm saying. That's how we ride on our enemies. I'm sorry, Tupac. Keep your head up. Got to go.